Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to a long-awaited, I guess, episode of Todd and Dane's Indie Read Along. Ten points if you remember that. Uh, back in the day, Todd the Librarian and I used to do um, a, a monthly indie book review. We both kind of slipped, because I think Todd for a while wasn't doing any videos, and I wasn't reading much indie at the time over that period of a month or whatever. But anyway, I'm here today to do a review of Kirk Sandblaster Faces the End by Ollie Jacobs. This is the final book in the series, the Kirk Sandblaster series. It's kind of a humorous sci-fi series, kind of reminiscent of Douglas Adams. Um, you can read the books in it kind of as a standalone, but especially with this one, you do really want to read this at the end because a lot of the characters from throughout the series come back in and make an appearance. So I'm going to read you the blurb and then I'm going to go through and check out some of my tabs before I share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. Party! After battling the robots of Universia, Kirk Sandblaster needs a break. And what better way to relax than to attend a black hole party? The chance to mingle with the elite, eat fancy foods and watch a giant ball of rubbish be gobbled by a black hole. Of course, no event featuring Kirk Sandblaster could ever run smooth, and soon enough the threat of destruction is revealed. Can Kirk and his loyal comrade, Zla, prevent the worst from happening? Or will an old foe finally get one over the adventurous duo? The thrilling comedic saga of Kirk Sandblaster ends here, after many adventures across the quadrants. Chaotic and light-hearted, this story will thrill you, tickle you, and make you hungry for a fine glass of Elegerian waft. So I like this, this is the introduction here. Um, once you find out your dead father is actually very much alive, and an insane cyborg determined to end all life in the known galaxy, then the universe can seem very small. And you know, it really isn't. Seriously, go back to the first story, Space Adventurer, and we even start by saying how insanely big the universe is. Every sci-fi author says it. You know why? Because it's true. Space, galaxies, the universe itself, really huge. But for Kirk Sandblaster, it was just a small room on the bounty, where he'd been locked inside for the last 18 hours. So uh, Kirk Sandblaster's watching this children's show called uh, Cool Duck and Jim, and the AI has made new episodes for him. And how does he do that? He's an AI. It bears mentioning again, if not already done so, but space is actually rather beautiful to be free in. As long as you're wearing the right gear and not being fired at by lasers or under threat of random debris or asteroids, it is not unlike swimming in a vast pool. Motion takes on a smooth quality, as every one of your movements feels poetic and refined. There is no clunking, no heavy step in space, just the freedom to move without restriction and sail your body through the combined forces of nothing. It's just you and the vastness, and the vastness is ready to give you a big old hug. Of course, if you're unaccustomed to being free in space, then it isn't as beautiful or lovely as I just described. It is actually absolutely terrifying as you lose all control of your motion, because there is nothing to hold, nothing to step onto. It's just you, drowning in forever. But if you're fine in it, it's a wonderful experience. If you're not, it's hell. Um, we, we get a few uses of the words Vanta Black, which is great. Uh, Vanta Black is the blackest of blacks, built from a forest of carbon nanotubes on aluminium foil, absorbing light at 99.99% efficiency. There's a spelling mistake, or not a spelling mistake, like a grammar mistake, I suppose. How many black hole parties have you been to? Party spelled P-A-R-T-Y apostrophe S, as opposed to P-A-R-T-I-E-S. I like this a little bit. Zla, relax, no one is trying to kill us. Not yet. Seriously, it's a party. Who tries to kill people at parties? In fact, Government of Universia Office of Statistics say that a party is the 18th most common place for attempts on your life, just after weddings and all-you-can-eat buffets. We get a reference to a Rigan rampaging after a rendition of an old ballad known as Mysterious Girl. What a banger. We have this little interesting thing that I probably can't show you on the camera, but uh, touche, and you can see where Ollie's uh, copied and pasted an E with a, an accent on it. Uh, which is a nice detail because a lot of people would just put tooch because they forget to use the accent But um, it's pasted in a slightly different font I think or the font he uses doesn't support um, those accent marks and I thought this was relatable um, Sam Blaster looked at his half-made sandwich and realized it was in such a state because he'd been eating the ingredients as he went along Ah well in theory that means he had eaten a sandwich just in a variety of different parts so yeah, overall, humorous little read. Uh, it's kind of sad because it's the end of the Kirk Sandblaster series unless uh, Jacobs does like a, an Arthur Conan Doyle and bring, brings Sandblaster back, but I did enjoy it. Um, pretty well written, good for an indie book. Uh, I gave it a strong 3.5 out of 5 uh, and would recommend if you've read the other Sandblaster books, although if you haven't, I wouldn't start with this one. Uh, pick up whatever one, really, or the first in the series. <laughs> So there we have it, that's what I made of Kirk Sandblaster Faces the End by Ollie Jacobs. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.